Hi, I'm Roscoe from Amazing EV and I'm here to show you how to buy a used EV. Three things we recommend. A car health check, just like most cars, but with some specialist EV reports and research as well. A car history report to make sure it hasn't been involved in any accidents or damage or has finance owing. And buy from a private seller. In many ways, buying a used EV is exactly like buying any other car. First you see it, you're intrigued and you're attracted to it. <laughs> of course, you fall in love. Then you've got to have it right. You know what I mean. But then you start to look for excuses to run away. <laughs> Forget about it. You check tires and brakes and upholstery and windows and all the usual things. It's done 25,000 Ks. It's a Tesla Model 3 and it appears to be perfect. What could possibly be wrong with it? Well, we think you need a different take on things, somewhere that'll help you see, discover all the, some of the differences and the hidden features of an EV, and particularly a used EV. Someone that's EV friendly and has a great selection of used EVs, and only EVs. You need Amazing EV, Australia's dedicated used EV marketplace. There you can find an amazing range of used EVs, just EVs, and a whole lot of information about what to look for when you're buying a used EV. The first thing not to forget is you're not alone. Over 14,000 used EVs were already sold in 2023. And that's about 1,100 a month. That's all according to data from our friends at Autograb who count everything in the used car market. Just like new EV sales, used EVs are growing and growing fast. Well, who exactly is buying these used EVs? All the budget conscious, forward thinking, environmentally friendly, brothers, uncles, cousins, sisters, aunties, grandparents. They're all looking at used EVs as a fantastic way to get into the used EV market at a reasonable price. Many are buying a used EV as a second car, as well as their petrol car. We don't mind, just as long as they get into the used EV market. Whether they're saving a Nissan Leaf from the scrapyard or buying a Tesla Model 3 for around 50K, it makes a great deal of sense. The first thing you look for like any other used car is, is the car healthy? We still recommend an overall car check from either an EV accredited service centre or NRMA or the manufacturer themselves to take a once over of the car to make sure everything's up to standard, just as you would with any other car. Body, brakes, bearings, fluids, glass, seats, all the usual things that you'd look for to make sure it's in keeping with mileage and age. But don't panic if it hasn't been serviced for a couple of years. You'll find that with EVs, sometimes there's just not that much to do. Here's Tesla's suggested servicing for the first few years. There's not a hell of a lot to do, so don't worry too much if you don't see any stamps in the service booklet. Often used EV buyers also went one step further and looked for an EV battery check as well. Not the 12 volt one, but the big one that actually powers the motor itself. EV batteries do degrade, we know that, but nowhere near as fast as what they might have you believe. Live research from Recurrent in the USA on thousands of Teslas has shown us that over the last few years, they're tracking 5% of battery losses in the first year, then around about 1% after that. So that's what you can expect from a brand new EV these days. Even then, battery degradation doesn't mean the car won't work. It just means you won't be able to drive as far as you used to. The range just isn't as far. A real red flag on battery health is if the degradation is outside these expected ranges. If you do see this, it's probably a major battery failure but probably covered into warranty. So worth reporting to the owner because they can probably do something about it. But most new EVs now have a manufacturer's warranty for battery and motor that's six or seven years or even up to 100, 150, 160,000 kilometers. So as a used EV buyer, you're definitely gonna be able to take advantage of the manufacturer's warranty as they're fully transferable. No doubt that given it's one of the most expensive parts of the EV, battery health data is gonna become a common currency for used EVs and go on to form part of the used EV's warrant of fitness. This will provide confidence to both used EV buyers and sellers in the future. Some say a car's life ends when the cost to fix it is more than its value, say around the 11 year mark, which coincidentally in Australia is about the age of the average used car. We don't really see the expected average age of used EVs to be any different, except you better take the biggest asset, the battery, and it'll get a second life as a home storage unit or go on to be recycled some other way. The second most popular thing that most EV buyers sought out, like most cars, was a car history report <laughs> for less than the cost of a bottle of wine and, and not a very good one of that. By providing a VIN or rego to an online service, they can usually give you all the details about whether the car's been in an accident, damaged, written off or stolen, or still has some finance owing via a PPSR report or a personal property securities register, which in itself is available at a government website. 
seen just down below on the screen, we highly recommend getting a car history report on every used car you're seriously considering buying, including EVs. Depending on the outcomes, perhaps that love at first sight won't be as deep and long lasting as you thought it might be. Also, don't forget, don't ignore the obvious signs of car wear and tear. There's no substitute for a good physical inspection of the body of any car. And if in doubt, take it to a smash repair center that you know. They'll know within one minute whether it's been involved in a major prang or not. Seriously though, depending on what the inspections and the reports bring up, you may not want to run away from the car completely, but it's seriously going to have a dent on what you might expect to pay for it, to the point where perhaps this one's not for you after all. The best thing about buying a used EV from a private seller was getting to know the EV owner, usually an EV enthusiast or part of the EV community, and finding out the story of that EV. Many EV sellers are early adopters and have become accidental advocates for EVs. They usually love EVs and telling the stories of driving their EV. So that just gives you confidence as a used EV buyer to know that the car's been well looked after and encourages others to get on board as well. Private buyers on online marketplaces like our own Amazing EV have really enjoyed getting to know the owner, finding out the story of the car, finding out that it's been looked after, sometimes better than the family dog, and it's even got a name as well. So that wraps up our quick guide on buying a used EV. Three things we recommend. A car health check, just like most cars, but with some specialist EV reports and research as well. A car history report to make sure it hasn't been involved in any accidents or damage or has finance owing. And buy from a private seller online at Amazing EV, where you'll meet some amazing people who love EVs and you can share in their stories as well, just before you start your own. I'm Roscoe, and this is Amazing EV.